Hi, my name is Lisa Tatafubuloka. I'm 17 years old. I currently attend Auckland Girls Grammar School. My favorite subjects at school include mathematics, books of calculus, and physics. And therefore, I'm looking at the job of being a civil engineering technician. Civil engineering technicians handle the technical details for building and maintaining infrastructure projects such as roads, bridges, tunnels, buildings and wastewater systems. Opus International Consultants is New Zealand's largest infrastructure consultancy with 36 offices nationwide. They provide design and project management across a wide range of sectors and as a leading global consultancy offers career opportunities across a wide array of engineering disciplines. Mel Wright is a civil engineering technician with Opus and she'll be showing Lisa some aspects of her job. Hi Lisa, I'm Mel. Have you ever been on a site like this before? This is my first time oh. I'm looking for it. <laughs> Welcome. First thing we have to do is learn about safety and you've gone through an induction which is great so now we need to go and get you a safety gear. Lisa is kitted out in safety gear. <laughs> we look super cool. <laughs> Then it's off to Auckland's Northwestern Motorway Extension where she's going to help with a soil nail test. On this site, soil nails have been sunk 12 metres horizontally into the earth to anchor the retaining walls of the overbridge. The soil nail is then tested to check the integrity and load bearing capacity of that particular layer of earth. On this job we're present, there's three layers. There's a clay layer up top, up higher. There's a weathered sandstone layer and at the moment we're an unweathered sandstone layer so that's the layer we're going to test and uh, I'll uh, get you to record all our readings and stuff for us and the way this test works is we've got a jacking system set up here we apply a force to the saw nail to try pull it out and we measure the extension of that corresponding to it. What we happen with this process now is that we again load it up further apply more force leave it for a duration and measure that extension over again. All right. We do this over a, a continual process to check that that's all now over, over a period of time is going to withstand that weight. I enjoy getting out of the office and see things being built, but also being in, in the office is good. You can also have a lot to do with the design, but you get the best of both worlds. Structural drafting is another aspect of the job, and it's Warren Kelly's speciality. What is the name of the software application that you're using? This is AutoCAD 2010. Um, this is the latest software we have so far, and um, this shows pretty much all the foundation work that goes underground. And how we do it is we, it's essentially a tracing exercise where <clears throat> we'll trace around all the architectural outlines and then offset our foundation lines for the contractor to build. What about your tertiary studies? Do you... My tertiary studies are paid for by Opus and I do a diploma in civil engineering at Unitech. I'm still studying that now. Civil engineering cadets with Opus are required to complete a level 6 diploma, the New Zealand Diploma in Engineering Civil, which is studied alongside Infotrain's National Diploma in Civil Engineering. It's a very good way of doing things because you get the work experience, uh, you get to go out on site and experience things and, and find out what you like and while you're learning. Um, so by the time when you're finished you have your qualification, you have work experience and you also know where you want to go. Mel's particular interest is environmental engineering. At Albany Senior High School she shows Lisa a rain garden stormwater drainage system. There's many different areas to civil engineering. Apart from structural and civil, we also have to look at rainwater and environmental issues. How does this rain garden work? Well, as you see over here, this is a catch pit and the water flows down from up here at the car park. It's collected and flows underground by gravitational flow into the catch pit. When the volume increases of the water in there, it rises up and overflows out of it into the garden. Oh, so this is the main thing. Yeah, this is it right here. We're sitting in it. Um, it soaks through, getting rid of the contaminants in the water, and then it is taken away in a, by a pipeline under the building out and discharged into a stream. Then it's back in the safety gear for an inspection at the new Monaco train station. This involves checking the reinforcing matches the specifications on the plans before the concrete is poured. So how many bars have we got running down the exterior of this? Nine bars. Nine bars? Could you please check for me that we've got nine bars here? Sure. Engineering is great for anybody who really yep, likes bars. to make a difference, who likes to solve problems and see things that they've been doing 200. getting built. 200. 
That's great. So this means that this reinforcing complies with our plans. Let's go and do some surveying. They also have to check that enough dirt has been excavated from the floor of the new station. Now this is a surveying equipment. Um, you've got the tripod and we've got a socket on here. Uh, it's used to measure distances and heights. Uh, what we're going to do today is measure over here. We have a cut, so they want the level of the soil to be two metres below. So we need to check that this has been done. I really enjoy my job. I get a lot of satisfaction out of it. I'm able to go and do things and actually see them being built and watch other people use them. It's almost, you are helping people. You are building roads and buildings and, I mean, giving people fresh water and taking their waste. It's, it's a very rewarding job because you're dealing with people a lot of the time and you are making their lives better. 400 millimetres. To help her visualise the final result, Mel shows Lisa the Grafton railway station. This is a similar situation to what we saw in Manukau. Oh look, there's the concrete pines that we saw. Yes, very similar. So hopefully when Manukau's finished, it will look something like this. So does Mel think Lisa is on track for a career in the industry? I think Lisa did really well, especially in the surveying and I wish her all the best in her career path. There is more to civil engineering than I actually expected and hopefully in a couple of years time I'll be looking at becoming a civil engineering technician. If you're interested in a career as a civil engineering technician, you'll need NCEA physics and maths plus a general aptitude for problem solving. One way to enter the industry is to study for a New Zealand Diploma of Engineering Civil at a Polytech. Another is to get a cadetship with a company and study through block courses. As you gain experience on the job, you can work towards a National Diploma in Civil Engineering Applied. This qualification is offered through Infotrain and is required to become registered as a Certified Engineering Technician. These two diplomas provide a good grounding if you wish to progress to a Civil Engineering degree at a later stage. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.